now that everything is out there, well, if D ain't saying nothing, it must not be true. Man, listen, if you think that, you're fucking, you're fucking, you're fucking brain dead. Mm-hmm. You're fucking brain dead, because when he come out and speak, and he clarify the same shit I just told you, you're going to be looking stupid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Don't be looking stupid, man. So we just, you know, got re- already got repeated hi- history. Of course, we already know the slogan that history repeats itself. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So let's not act like shit cannot happen. You know what I mean? Right. So that shit crazy. Man. It is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is this, and I and I like I, I spoke with bro before, like bro said. Now what a lot of people don't know is how he looked after the fight. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know that. Now, if, and I'm quite sure there's a lot of fighters watching this too. Now, as a black man, I know when we're punched, we swell over time. Mm-hmm. We swell over time. Well, how is it that, of course, he swelled, but even after the fight, he had these keloid sized knots from the top of his head all the way down to his fucking spine. And I'm glad you said and, that. And, and my thing is, my thing is this. My thing is this. How, when the fuck, when the fuck have boxing gloves ever did that to somebody? And I'm glad, I'm glad you said, stay right there. And they got keloid sized knots in his head. And I'm glad you said that. Stay right there. Get a scratch. It was about the third week. Those are the words of Tate Jones as he continues to um, speak about Deontay Wilder and how he feels Deontay Wilder was definitely cheated. Now, um, as you heard him clarify that Deontay Wilder himself feels cheated. He just hasn't said anything. I mean, I don't know why he hasn't. I have my, you know, reasons for or my beliefs on why he hasn't. But as Tay Jones said that everyone's going to look stupid when he gums and verifies the same thing that I'm saying. Well, it's not the fact that everyone will be stupid. It's the fact, it, it, the, the truth of the matter will be, everybody will be notified finally that he himself has came out and said, hey, I think he cheated. Okay. And after this fight, he talked about the keloids. Keloids are from cuts. Keloids are from cuts in um, with African American black people. Some of us, some of us, when we get cut, we keloid. Okay, that's what a keloid is. Now, as far as a knot, you know, he brought up the question on when have you seen anybody not up like that um from a punch and he also mentioned like hey you never seen Deontay Wilder crack someone's skull with his punching power um and he said the knots were back here down his spine well um I know he did a lot of rough tactics that's the only thing that I could come up with when he had him in the headlock both of the guys were hitting each other behind the head with rabbit punches. I mean, that's the only time, you know, and then that would make sense if what they were trying to say, what the evidence out there, right? The evidence that everyone else is coming up with, like Blue Blood, Dante's Boxing Nation, Boxing Ego, et cetera, et cetera. Then they could say, well, hey, he had something in his gloves, okay? Um, I think that I think in the grand scheme of things with um, with Tay Diggs and Deontay Wilder, or Tay Diggs, Tay Jones and Deontay Wilder, I think Wilder should come out unless he's just waiting until after the third fight, you know, but I feel that Wilder himself should say something. I think it's something that he owes the public. Because, like, if Deontay Wilder doesn't say anything, we'll never know what he meant. He didn't hey, say yay or nay, and we, you know, and I'm surprised that whoever talked to Deontay never asked him, like, dude, do you think Fury cheated? 
and it shouldn't take four months. If those keloids and shit swelled after that fight, those should have been evidence. Those things should have been documented. We should have been, that should have been reported. He shouldn't have went underground and stayed low and all this, that, and the other. If he feel, felt that he was cheating or, cheat, or was cheated out of a, a, a fight because Tyson Fury was doing some slick bullshit, I feel that he should have came out now and said something by now. You know, again, I feel he's doing that and he's allowing people that are, you know, on his team to say something because he doesn't want to himself to incriminate himself just now. You know, I'm not really sure, but I will say this. If what they're claiming that Tyson Fury had something in his hands, the person who to blame is not really, it, it sure it's Tyson Fury if he cheated, but the person that should have caught that was the person that was observing his wraps, his gloves, his everything. Okay? Let me give you guys an example. Since this fight is being referenced in association to so many other fights that had dirty outcomes, let's look at Luis Resto and Billy Conley. Okay? Billy Conley was beat round after round after round by Luis Resto, okay? Was his skull cracked? No, it wasn't cracked, but he had some bones broken in his face. He had some bones broken in his face, okay? And um, they didn't catch him. Unfortunately, they didn't catch him before the fight, okay? So, Teddy Jones is right. Think shit happens in boxing. We can't act like things can't happen. It can happen, okay? But it's a case-by-case -case basis, and in this case, I'm referring to Resto versus Conley. Fortunately, he got caught after the fight. That's when the investigation began, right? So who caught him? The trainer on Billy Conley. Billy Conley's trainer caught that. He just caught it after the fight. Unfortunately, it was too late. Okay, the harm had been done. The damage has been done. Um, Cotto Margarito beat Cotto round after round after round. In fact, it lasted another round past the Conley Resto fight. Lasted eleven rounds. Antonio Margarito took off his glove and his glove, his fucking his shit was swole over okay, and they caught him and it was cracking okay, the, the fucking you know, because the plaster of Paris it swells, it's, all, it's like a, it is a cast, it was cracking that's why it looked so crazy, it's like well why is that shit cracking where your knuckles were because you was hitting fucking Kodo with him unfortunately they did not catch him it wasn't enough evidence because they didn't catch him on that night. So whose fault is that? Miguel Cotto's trainer. Margarito's a piece of shit for doing it, right? He should have been banned for the sport of boxing and never came back just like Luis Resto was, right? But that didn't happen, okay? Fortunately, who caught him, though? Who caught him? Nassim Richardson caught him. He was like, look, something ain't right about them wraps. Unwrap that shit. When he unwrapped it, that plaster players fell out. But who's at fault? Okay, who, uh, well, let, let's say this, not at fault. Whose responsibility was it? Nassim Richardson, because he was there observing, right? Next example, Floyd Mayweather, Marcos Maidana, <laughs> right? Just mention this. There ain't no fucking pad in the glove. Who caught it? Team Mayweather caught it, okay? So... Yeah, that, that's up to the team. That's the responsibility of the team. That's why they're there. Now, this situation, if all this is true, people, if all this is true, Wilder thinks it's true, obviously. He ain't came out and said it. I don't know the fuck why, really. You know what I mean? I have my suspicions why. But Tay Jones has his team member, right? He got the green light to say, yeah, I think me, me and my big bro think he cheated. Okay, so this is confirmed. Damn near, right? Like 95.6% confirmed 
that Deontay Wilder thinks Tyson Fury cheated him due to the damage on his hands. Okay, right? Now we're seeing these pictures. Now we're seeing these images. Now we're seeing this. Now we're seeing that, okay? All this evidence, supposedly, allegedly, okay? Now, whose responsibility was it? Think about it. JD's, the person that observed the gloves. That's the responsibility. That's the person that should have seen them gloves, looked at them gloves, verified them gloves, and then okayed those gloves. Then the commissioner could do what he did and what his inspection. Then he could have, then they would have wrapped the gloves up, then signed off on the bitches. Right? That's what could have happened. So it comes down to JD's. It came down to Miguel Cotto's uncle, which was his trainer at the time. It comes down to uh, Billy Conley's trainer. It comes down to Nassim Richardson. It comes down to the person that observed the gloves. Okay? So if Andy Lee thought something was funny about Deontay Wilder's gloves, which people, wake up. There are, there are fucking pictures out there with Deontay Wilder's gloves looking all like a fucking rough potato chip and shit. It looks all fucked up too. So are we going to say, are we going to run with that shit saying, hey, uh, we think Deontay Wilder cheated? No, I don't think he cheated. I never thought he could cheat it. You know? So, yes, but those gloves look the same way. They look fucked up. They look tampered with. They look altered. Okay? Both of those gloves look altered in both of those images. It's just certain channels are pushing that shit. But at least now we know, okay, Wilder, you think you were cheated. So why the fuck are we having a third fight? Why are we having a third fight? You think you got a cheater on your hands. Why the fuck would you want to even fight a cheater? You said it yourself when Luis Ortiz popped dirty back in 16 or 17. I think it was 17. You don't want to date. You don't want to fight a dirty ass fighter. Or was it 16? I think it was 16. He said, I never fight a dirty fighter. Okay, stick to your guns because at the end of the day, if you think this man cheated you the way he cheated you and did and inflicted that type of pain, this a third fight shouldn't even fucking be in the play. You would be it shouldn't be no exercise clause on no fucking third fight if you think this man cheated you. You already said he's a slick ass gypsy and he used some gypsy slippery magic on you, right? Why would you trust that he won't do the same shit in this fight? Okay? That's my question. Like, why are you trying to right your wrong with a guy that did wrong on you? That's my counterpunch to Deontay Wilder and Team Wilder because I don't want to fight nobody that wants to cheat me like that. Especially when you can't, you didn't catch it. Or, in, or look at it this way. Let's look at it this way. You should be disappointed in your team, JDs, for not catching that shit. That's who you're supposed to blame. You're supposed to look at your corner. Snakes in the grass, remember that shit? Okay, that, that should be the snake in the grass because he was there sitting there chinning and fucking grinning when he, when Tyson Fury was getting his shit wrapped up and he's getting his gloves put on. Okay, he was there. He was the guy responsible for how that was conducted, for that particular uh, wrap on, that, on this man's hands and the way, the way they were wrapped and the way those gloves and he expected those gloves. Now to say those gloves, oh, they couldn't have been compromised. Well, it's been verified that uh, Team Mayweather thought that those gloves weren't up to par, okay? I just thought they were thinner pad gloves, which they do have thinner pad gloves. They have punch and Everglass gloves. They have more of a blocking style glove. They have different types of gloves for different reasons, okay? Look at Holyfield and Lewis again. They had the same type of glove, Everlast. Lewis had more of a puncher, so his gloves were more, were, were, were more solid. It had more cushion on the outside, but they were smaller, Holyfield had more padding on the outside because he wanted to, to use it for blocking. Okay? Now, you could punch with both of them, but they were both designed for different reasons. Okay? Now, in this case, in this case here, with uh, Team Wilder saying that, hey, Wilder had some kilo-sized knots in his head, cuts and dents. We never seen that. Dents in his skull. Okay. It's time for us to see what the hell Deontay Wilder has to say about this whole ordeal. Because only he can clear it up because he, are, he is the person that we're talking about. The, hear, the hearsay shit, it's over. Okay, it's exhausted. 
Tyson Fury's made his statement. Now it's time for Wilder to make his. That's only fair. That's the 50-50. That man said his side. You think I did? That's the you bullshit. Okay, now it's time for Wilder. Yo, I think you cheated me, and you, you're a dog-ass motherfucker for doing it or whatever. Whatever. However you explain it to this day. Okay? Now, that's my counterpunch on that. You guys tell me what you think about Tate uh, Jones's extended uh, interview. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.